all over the building. Let's just prepare the way of the Lord. That's what we want to do right now. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. You know, we're going we're gonna to pray in just a moment, but I want you to know something that uh, we just came out of Memorial Day, and it, we just had a time of remembering soldiers and, and the sacrifice that has been done, uh, that, that men have paid for, you know, the freedom of this country with their blood. But I want you to know there's a war going on right now. I want you to know there's a war. And whether or not you have declared war, Satan, demonic forces have declared war on you, on your children, on your family, on your home, on your bank accounts. War has been declared on you whether you have declared war or not. It's just like in Pearl Harbor Day when the Japanese attacked the United States in 1941. We were minding our own business, not thinking about anything, but these folks declare war on this country. So war has been declared on you whether you want to declare war or not. So the question is, what are you going to do now that war has been declared on you, your family, your children, your health, your bank accounts? What are you going to do now that Satan has declared war against you? What are we going to do? Praise the Lord. I declare that we're going to fight. I declare that we're going to lift up a holy standard. I declare that we're going to fight with the word of God. We're going to lift up the standard of God against the enemy in this world. Deacon Trevor is going to come and he's going to pray. And I declare that we are going to be like, we're going to be like the Israelites and he's going to be Joshua. Whatever he tells us to do, that's what we are going to do corporately. If he says that we're going to jump, if he says that we're going to shout, if he says that we're going to magnify God, whatever he says that we're going to do, that's what we're going to do as a people. Now, what y'all say about it? Hallelujah. Come on, Deacon Trevor. Holy and awesome, all-knowing God. Father, as we are gathered in your sight, your presence, Father, we come to be refueled. We come to be prepared for this battle, oh God. Father, as we prepare to receive your word from the mouthpiece of God, our, our leader, may our hearts be pliable to this word, oh God. Father, send us a rainbow word, God, a right now word, God, a seasoned word, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, for we yet have a a, a work week ahead of us that we don't know. We don't know what holds in, in that week. And there's an angry devil out there, Father. Don't let us leave the same way we came. Let us leave with more weapons than we came in the house with, oh God. For we will use all of them this week, oh God. But we have the victory already. Jesus already declared and secured our victory on the cross. And we have that victory, oh God. But we will not go through this journey without a fight. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we will not go through this journey without a fight. And Father, we just ask that you just prepare us, prepare us for the unknown, oh God. Prepare us to walk places that we haven't walked before, God. And give us a word and an open door to share the gospel with those who are without and those who are outside the ark of safety, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, may our hearts be pliable and ready, oh God. Not to fall on stony ground or, or, or those grounds that spring up weeds, but good ground, oh God. Good ground in the name of Jesus, oh God. For we have been fed rich word for years in this house. And some of that word, Father, unfortunately, probably fall on stony ground. But Father, no more. No more will it fall on stony ground. Father, may our hearts in, in, in be fertilized with, 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 with rich fertilizer that 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 the roots will, will run stronger than the, than the blooms on the ground that we can't see. The, the, the roots are, are, are thriving. And, and, and may our inner man and inner woman be strengthened today in the name of Jesus. Bless the man of God as he comes forth. Bless him with, with strength and courage. And, 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 and block out all distractions for him, oh Lord. Cover his mind. Cover his mind in the name of Jesus. As we stand behind the sacred podium to declare your word to your people, may we be a different people. May we be changed people. And Lord, may we look strange to the world. Father, it's a front unto you if we look like the world. For you told us to be unspotted by the world. In the name of Jesus, oh God. 
Father, I thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for what you've already been doing. In the name of Jesus. Father, we lift your name high, oh God. Your word is our weapon. Your word is our weapon. Our praise is a weapon. In the name of Jesus. We can praise you on our jobs. We can praise you as we're going. In the name of Jesus. Father, I, I believe the devil don't mind us coming to church, but he do mind us praising you. That's a threat to his kingdom. That's a threat to his kingdom. And victory is in our mouth. Victory is on our lips. Victory is in our hearts. In the name of Jesus. He, just knowing the scriptures, the devil's not threatened by just the scriptures. He knows the scriptures. But we have to go into the hedges and highways and declare your word. That's what the devil don't like. Hallelujah. And when we're, and when we're hard pressed on every side, when we break out with a praise, he don't like that. He wants us to be muddled down. But the devil is a liar. We declare victory on every hand. And if we're not having victory on every hand, we're being defeated. But defeat is not an option, oh God. We just thank you, God, that we serve a big God. We serve a live God. We don't serve a God that's sitting on a shelf. We serve a God that can think, that can move, that can deliver. In the name of Jesus, oh God. So, Father, we just lift our hands in submission, humble submission. Whatever you want to do, do it, God. We won't question you. We won't, we won't be disobedient to your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Father. We, we pray healing, Father, for, the, for those who are sick. We pray, God, that, that the sick will rise again in your name. We also pray that the sin sick will live again in your name. Deliver our del Deliver unto us a saving word in this house for someone who's lost, oh God. Someone's at the crossroads, oh God. May they cross that line in victory in Jesus' name. We're living in the last times, and the last times are upon us. So, Father, help us not to be foolish or ignorant to the devil's devices. For you've told us that we're not ignorant to his devices, and it's our fault if we are. Help us, oh God. This is our prayer, God, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Anybody come to worship today? Hallelujah. I mean, you come to worship today. Bless you, Lord. I mean, did you come to worship today? We understand that God created us all. God created you, God created me. And when we come to church, sometimes I think we come looking for our blessing. And we come looking for our next breakthrough. But isn't it about worshiping our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Isn't it about giving him glory? And isn't it about lifting him up? Is it about pouring ourselves out and just saying, Lord, I love you? I just want to ask anybody that wants to come and worship God, who would love to be on one accord. We as a corporate body, can we get on one accord? And can we step out of our comfort zones today? Okay, if it's, if, if it's moving out of your pew, if it's coming up to the altar, if it's moving to the back of the church, if it's going to the side of the church, if it's just standing up, if it's lifting your hands, if it's opening your mouth, if it's doing something different to get out of your comfort zone. See, because God deserves to be praised. He deserves to be worshipped. And you think if, if we set an atmosphere that will lift up our God, if we set an atmosphere that will put a smile on our God's face, just forgetting about yourself, forgetting about your situation. See, his, the Bible said he will supply all of our needs, but if we could just forget about what we think we need, if we could forget about the things that we want, if we could just open up our mouths, forget about the situations, forget about the circumstances, and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, there is no one above you. Lord, you are the great I am. Lord, you're strong and mighty. Hallelujah, God. Lord, you're worthy, God. Help us lift this up. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm 
so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Lord, I lift your name. Oh, Lord, to sing your praises. Lord, I'm so glad. So glad you came to save us. Say it again, say, Lord. I love to sing your praises. Lord, I'm so glad. So glad you came to save. I'm so glad you came to save us. Say, Lord, I lift your name. Hallelujah. 
from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the, grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Think about that. He came from heaven to earth. He came from heaven to earth. He came from heaven to earth. For you. To me, I hallelujah, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the, the sky, to the Lord, I live, I live today, boy, you I can stand, oh, you came, you came from to, to show us all the way, from the earth to the cross, my sinful death to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I live, From the grave to the, the sky, to the Lord, sky. I live. Lord, I live today, Lord. I live. Lord, I live your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Help me sing, Lord, I lift your name on high. Your name on high. Name on high. I love to sing your praise. Oh, I'm glad you're in my life. So very glad you came to save me. You came from heaven to show us all the way from the earth to the cross. My sinful death you pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I live You came from heaven To show us all the way From the earth to the cross My sinful death you pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we'll bless the Lord. Will we bless the Lord? Will you bless the Lord? Not response for me, but would you bless the Lord? Because he is worthy. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Just put your hands together. Let's bless him this morning. Come on, we're going to bless the Lord together this morning. Hallelujah. Can we start off like that? Hallelujah. Everybody, let me hear you say, Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Come on, let's give it the highest praise. Say it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and lift your voice and say Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Just say hallelujah. Yeah, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Come on and lift your voice and say hallelujah. That's the highest praise. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 I will bless the Lord. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. 
listen Lord you're worthy of the glory and the honor hallelujah Lord you're worthy you're so worthy yes you're worthy hallelujah Lord you're worthy yes you're worthy you're so worthy hallelujah I can't stop praising I can't stop dancing you've been too good hallelujah you keep on healing you keep forgiving you give me favor hallelujah you keep on healing you keep forgiving you give me favor. Give me favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You keep on healing. You keep on healing. You keep forgiving. You keep forgiving. You give me favor. You give me favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You keep on healing. 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 Keep on healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You keep on giving. Keep on giving. You keep on giving. Keep on giving. You keep on giving. Keep on giving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You keep on loving. Keep on loving. Keep on loving. Keep on loving, keep on loving, keep on loving, keep on loving. Keep on loving. Hallelujah. hallelujah, Lord, you're worthy, Lord, you're worthy, of the glory, of the glory, and the honor, and the honor. hallelujah, hallelujah, I can't stop praising, I can't stop praising, hallelujah, I can't stop praising, I can't stop praising, hey. Can't stop praising. Glory. Hallelujah. You're worthy, God. I can't stop clapping. Can't stop clapping. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Blessed, holy name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. Praise your Jesus. How many know he just keeps on doing great things? He keeps on doing great things. He keeps on blessing. He keeps on loving. He keeps on giving. He keeps on healing. He keeps on being faithful. Yeah, yeah. Father, you're worthy. Yes, you're worthy, Lord. Master, you're worthy of our praise. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Father, you're worthy. Worthy, worthy. Yes, you're worthy, Lord. Yes, God. Almighty. Hallelujah. I pray. You're worthy, Lord. You're so worthy. You're so loving. You're so loving, Lord. You're worthy of our praise. So faithful, Lord. You're so loving. So loving, Lord. My God, you're worthy of our praise. You're so faithful. And you're so loving. Father, you're worthy of our praise. Can you say that with me this morning? You're so faithful. You're so loving. You're so loving. And you're worthy. And you're worthy of our praise. Of our praise. You're so faithful. You're so faithful. You're so loving. You're so loving. And you're worthy. And you're worthy of our praise. Of our praise, 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 of our praise. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is. Come on, say, I will. I will bless your Praise him in here. Thank you, Lord. Can we bless him together this morning? Come on, if you know that he's too good, if you know that he's been good past what you've done, if you know that he's a loving God, a faithful God, a saving God, a healing God, if you know that he's a forgiving God, if you know that he's your savior, he's your master, can we just get outside of the norm and just begin to open up our mouth? and say something to him this morning. He is the most high God. He is the risen king. He is the matchless name Jesus. There's none greater. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, Lord God, Jesus. Tell somebody beside you how much you love him this morning. Just take a few minutes. Just tell him really something. Tell them how much you love Jesus this morning. I will bless your name. I will bless your name. I will bless your I will bless your name. Well, I will. I will bless you. Because you're loving, I will. I will bless you. Because you're a redeemer, I will, I will bless, bless your name. Oh.
your name. I will, I will bless 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 your name. I will bless, bless your, your name. If you don't do anything else, you'll be Jesus. You've already done enough. And I'll forever bless your name. I will bless in the good times, in the bad times. I will bless. I will bless. In my sickness, I will bless. I will bless. When I'm well, Lord, I will bless. I will bless. Have nothing, Lord Jesus. I will bless your name. I will bless. And when I have a word, I will bless your name. I will bless. bless your name. I will. I will bless your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God. Come on, give the Lord a praise, somebody. Amen. Praise our God. Praise our God. Certainly the Lord is worthy of all of our praise. Amen. 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 I say God is worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, we just thank you for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you for bringing us together again in this house of worship. We thank you for all the songs of praise. We thank you for, oh, right now, God, your presence is in this room. And I ask, oh, God, that you just manifest yourself in your glory in the name of Jesus. Breathe on us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Breathe on us, Lord. We ask, Lord Jesus, that the glory of the Lord, hallelujah, be evident in this place in a great and a mighty way. Thank you, Jesus. And I ask God that you, hallelujah, heal the sick, deliver the captive, set free those that are bound, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord, for our freedom and uh, to declare your word. Lord, we want to hear your voice. We praise and we bless your holy name. Thank you, O oh God, for the strength of all that are here. <clears throat> it is not an accident that any of us are here, but it's because of your mercy and your grace. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory now in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, bless his name one more time. the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is with me, bless his holy, bless his holy, bless his name. Oh, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord. Oh, oh my soul. Oh, my soul. And all. is holy bless his holy name now if you haven't said anything all the service you can say this that he has done great things if you don't know it look at yourself he 
If you know it to be true, say it with me. He has done. He has done great, great things. Oh, the Lord he has done. He has done great things. Oh, bless his Standing a while, but is there anybody here can just think of one great thing the Lord has done? Can we praise Him right now? Now I know, I know that if we will take the time to go around the room and 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 ask everyone if there are any things in your life that you wish was different, or that you desire to change. Uh, amen, somebody. Every one of us in this room have a whole list of things that we can cite and say, my God, I, 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 I wish that was changed, and I wish this was cha would change, but we can make another list and look over our lives look on today, look on yesterday and just this week. When we think about our family and our children, when we think about how good God has been, oh my God, the fact that, the fact that the Lord just blessed us to lay down and wake up with the blood yet running warm in our veins. Come on, isn't that a great thing? The Lord bless us to go on our jobs. The Lord bless us to get behind the wheel of a vehicle not knowing who's meeting us. I, 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 I shared with someone this, I, I read an article last night in Texas, a uh, newlywed couple, I hadn't been married long, that, that uh, I guess the husband, I don't know whether he was leaving home and the wife coming home or vice versa, but they were in separate vehicles and they're coming down a road and they actually had a head-on collision with each other and both of them killed instantly. Husband and wife collide on the highway. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, it's almost unimaginable, but you don't know who you're meeting. It's the grace of God that we are in this room. And if it had not been for the Lord, hallelujah. I say again, if it had not been for the Lord who is on our side, I feel the Holy Ghost in this room. Amen. Yes, Lord. Jesus. He has done great things. Come on, testify. The Lord has done great things. He has done great things. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Lord. You have done. Yeah, yeah. Great things. Bless 
is holy. Bless is holy. Bless is holy. Bless is holy. Bless is holy. Bless is holy. Bless the Lord. Bless his whole. That's what we came here for today, isn't it? Didn't we come to bless the name of the Lord? Bless his name. Yes, we did. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. And so we bless your name. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Praise somebody. Well, amen. Come on. Clap your hands, all oh, you people. Shout on the God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Glory. I know clapping our hands don't even make sense to some people but if you're doing it unto the Lord the scripture say clap your hands all ye people and shout unto God with a voice of triumph even if you're going through shout like you're going through hey, hey. glory Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ah, la, la, oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll feel better if you praise him. You want God to step in your situation. I beg you to come on. Lift your mind toward heaven and shout hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Go, go. Glory. A couple of Sundays ago. We stood here and say we got to learn how to encourage ourselves. You got to learn how to encourage yourself. You can be hurting and just come on and and, and, and you can be discouraged and, 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 and you ought to just shout glory anyhow. Because in the midst of my going through, when it's all said and done, God will get the glory. You got to put in the atmosphere what you're believing God for. You ain't, you, if, if, if you can, if you can quit putting in the atmosphere, I'm hurting, headache, sickness, cancer, I'm broke, I'm frustrated, I'm tired. We put all that in the atmosphere. But, but, but why don't you make a decision to put in the atmosphere what you want to call for from glory and shout glory you ought to shout victory I dare somebody in this room to shout I am healed in Jesus name Come on, I, I, I dare you to say it, I, I, I challenge you to say it, I encourage you to say, I am healed in Jesus' name. I dare you to say, I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I have more than enough. I am 
am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. And in the name of Jesus, oh my God, how bold, yeah, 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 hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Come on, about 30 seconds, 30 seconds, then we got to go. Come on, clap those hands. Yeah. the Lord. Amen. I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Praise. Come on, give him a praise. Amen. Oh, we got to go. I know we got to move, but let me get this out. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Anybody got another yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. I got another yes, Lord. Just one more yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Mm. The Lord bless and keep you is our prayer. We're so grateful for all of you here in the house of the Lord on this Lord's morning. You might be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to welcome those of you, our friends, our visitors, our guests that are here that have joined us. Whether you're a first-time visitor, whether you're a returning visitor, we're glad to have you in our service. We might have some that are first-time visitors. If this is your first time here, we promise not to put you on the spot or have you say anything, but we'd like to celebrate you and simply acknowledge your presence. If you're here and this is your first time, would you just stand where you are and we will just celebrate you if this is your first time in one of our services. Amen. If not, amen. Whether you're first time, amen. No, amen. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We're glad that you're here. Make yourself at home. Amen. And we're just... Uh, grateful and that you've chosen this place not only those of you that are here but those have, that have joined us online we welcome you as well and to all of you we're grateful that God has allowed us appreciate all of your prayers glad to see um, you know, uh, Stacy in the house this morning and she, uh, uh, amen that's you're doing the right thing daughter amen 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 Anybody know that our strength is in the house of the Lord? You know, sometimes when people are going through, you know, they get home and get in a corner. And, um, you know, and that's where the devil wants you. He wants you isolated, alone. And is there a witness here? That's not where your strength is. 
strength is in the house of the Lord with the saints of God. And that's what we got to learn to do. When we're going through, we run to the house. Amen. Not just then, but all the time we find ourselves in his presence. We want to uh, just pause. We have a, a few graduates that we uh, want to uh, acknowledge this morning and celebrate. And um, we, um, um, all of these persons are not here, but um, I'm, I'm going to call their name and those that are here. I'm going to ask them to come forth. I guess they uh, asked them to put on their caps and their gowns. And so if, um, if you're here, I think uh, it's Talara Sweeting. Is she here? Talara here? Okay, Talara is not here. Uh, Kenny? Dinkins. <laughs> Kayla Patterson. Is Kayla here this morning? Kayla is not here. Victoria Hill, Victoria Hill. Victoria, amen, amen. James Darwin, uh, Young, James Young, is James here? James is not here. Brianna. Ward, Brianna Ward. Congratulations, Brianna. All right, amen, uh, amen. Uh, Cassadria Jones. Congratulations, Cassandra. These are our high school graduates. We had <clears throat> Amen. We want to congratulate all of you. And we actually have one college graduate that we missed a couple of Sundays ago. We acknowledged college graduates and we missed one. And this young lady is here, I think, this morning. It's Jessica Lucas who has also gotten her master's, amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jessica has got her uh, master's degree and we're proud of you and thank God for you and all that you're doing. Mama, wife, and still going at it. Amen, and we appreciate you. Um, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna ask you to be seated because I want to speak to these high schoolers for a minute. Congratulations, Jess, Jessica. I know, I know they probably a little nervous up here because Pastor got it. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something I ain't never done since I've been pastoring. Okay. <laughs> Y'all like, look so good, and you actually helped me out this morning. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ask the folks on this seat if y'all will clear this seat. And I just want to ask y'all to sit there while I preach today. Ooh. Yeah, see. And I say y'all help me out. I don't know whose idea was to put the caps and the robes on, um, but y'all got it all covered because I, I was like, Lord, how am I going to do this? And I was thinking because, you know, our, 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 love, our lovely ones don't, you know, sometimes the dresses may not be front seat dresses. And, I would say, now how are we going to, because I already had a plan. I said, we're going to put some, we're going to spread them all with cloths. <laughs> I, I love all, you all, you all are like my sons and daughters, and y'all know your bastard don't mean I actually want to congratulate you, but I just want you to sit there, because we want to honor you, but then I want to talk to you as well, okay? So can we congratulate all of these high schoolers, and I'm going to ask y'all to take that front seat. Let me, let me
let me let me let me let me say um, to Dick uh, Trevor um, to um, um, those that are here. I um, and I'm very very serious. I was thinking. I I, I am sincerely proud of of. Um, These are our children, our sons and daughters. And um, um, I, I shared with, um, I shared last Sunday. Y'all know we, we, we preached about um, the beginning of wisdom, okay? I shared last Saturday, I, I um, attended the funeral services of one of my first cousin's son who was found murdered in a parking lot. went to that service and uh, he, he was um, to the point where the family wasn't able to view his body. And while my brother is ministering, he, he said that there was, um, he got a call just in their area, their city, there was nine young men that had been killed in eight days, all under 25. Thinking about, I've been thinking about our kids. I've been praying for our young people, and I know that when they get of age, and they, you know, long before they get out of our house, but when we start releasing these little ones and they start going on off to college, whether they go to college and stay here or go afar. You know, I, I be asking myself, uh, you know, the thing that I asked myself as a parent when my children was leaving my house, it's not, it wasn't just the degree that they had in their hands, but I was concerned about have I put enough in them for them to be able to survive in the world and make clear decisions decisions for themselves when they have their own car and their own apartment their own campus and nobody's telling them when to go, when to come, what to do and um, I looked at our high school graduates and, and, and this is going to this what I'm about to say is going to be a little difficult because I looked at I, and, I, and I thought back a few years ago in this church. Um, I thought about we used to have all most of our high schoolers in Sunday school. And I remember that class Sister Mitchell would have and, and uh, Adrian's daughters, Nicole, and Isaiah. Eric and Devin and J.E. and Natalie and whatever. And, and, and I, I, I was thinking about what was constantly poured in because there's only so much that they get in this kind of service and from that pulpit. There, there's, there's an interaction. There's some things that has to be deposited. And when I, when I was given those seven cards from my high schoolers. Um, and I looked and I said, and, and please don't be offended anyone, but I said, none of these seven are regularly in Sunday school. Um, and one of these seven is engaged and involved in ministry. And I started asking myself, I, we really can't blame these kids. Do they have a responsibility? Yeah, to some degree. But you know, I started looking, I started looking at me as a pastor, us as a church, and I started thinking about the parents, and I started asking myself, whose responsibility is it to be certain that they don't excel in academics, athletics, in their social lives and skills, 
and then they leave our homes and, and go into the world and we have not deposited into them what they need to live successfully in this evil world that they're going into. And, um, and so I said, this is a good time to not just talk to the kids, and please, I'm not, you know, but to all of us, to parents, to the church, to young and to old, and continue to ask ourselves, you can get knowledge in college, but you can only get wisdom from God. So, with that, we're going to turn to our scripture for this morning, and we're going to go into the praise team that's going to minister to us, and we want to prayerfully go into this word of God today to hear what it is that the Lord has to say. Again, young people, please understand, I am so proud, and I know that you're at a transitional stage in your life, and you're about to. I know walking across that stage, you're leaving some things behind, but you're stepping into a new place. And you know what? And I'm going to just be painfully honest. Some of us have stepped into some places, and we haven't done very well. But I, 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 my prayer for you, and I've been praying for you. God knows I have. And um, but let's turn our attention for the scripture to, for today. Uh, at least the devotional is really not the text from the message, but it's a good lead into the message. And then um, the praise team and will come with the word. Chapter 8. Wisdom calls for a hearing. Listen as wisdom calls out. Hear as understanding raises her voice. On the hilltop along the road, she takes her stand at the crossroads. By the gates at the entrance to the town on the road leading in, she cries aloud, I call to you, to all of you. I raise my voice to all people. You simple people use good judgment. You foolish people show some understanding. Listen to me, for I have important things to tell you. Everything I say is right, for I speak the truth and detest every kind of deception. My advice is wholesome. There is nothing devious or crooked in it. My words are plain to anyone with understanding, clear to those with knowledge. Choose my instruction rather than silver, and knowledge rather than pure gold. For wisdom is far more valuable than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with it. I, wisdom, live together with good judgment. I know where to discover knowledge and discernment. All who fear the Lord will hate evil. Therefore I hate pride and arrogance, corruption and perverse speech. Common sense and success belong to me. Insight and strength are mine. Because of me kings reign and rulers make just decrees. Rulers lead with my help and nobles make righteous judgments. I love all who love me. Those who search will surely find me. Well, the word of God comes. Can we just worship together today? Can we just let God know that he is everything to us? There's so many things that we can't put them in a category. Hallelujah, Jesus. How can I describe a God that's indescribable And how can I explain A love that's inexplainable I'm at a loss for words Oh, my heart sings, oh, 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 oh my heart sings, oh. Can I describe a God? 
darkness indescribable. And how can I explain? How can I explain? A love, a love that's unexplainable. I'm at a loss for words, and all I say is. Just worship together. Oh, 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 oh. Can you just open your mouth today and say, oh. I live to worship. 
worship you. I live, I live to worship you. To worship you. To worship you. I live. To worship you. To worship you. I live, I live to worship you. How many know that we were created to worship? Hallelujah. To worship you. To worship you. I live. To worship you. To worship you. I live. I live. I live to worship you. To worship you. To worship you. I live. To worship you. I live. To worship you. I live. To worship you. To worship you. We're getting ready to receive our pastor. Can everybody stand to your feet and say, oh. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All I say is, Just have every voice in the house. Oh, 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 comes can you say that to worship to worship you I live to worship you I live I live to worship you God bless you Voltaire uh, said that common sense is not so common he was right. Society has grown increasingly litigious when inundated with warning products because people lack common sense. Uh, may I pause and say that this message is not just directed at our high school graduates or graduates, but it's for all who hear. There are some ridiculous, seemingly unnecessary warning signs that often the industry has to put on products that you would think unnecessary. For instance, um, there's instructions on a hair dryer that says, do not use while sleeping. <laughs> there's instructions on an iron actually label do not iron clothes on body (laughs) 
There's instructions on a, a chainsaw that says, do not stop with hands. Who would stop a chainsaw with their hands? But, <laughs> but those warnings are literally on those instruments. Now, uh, uh, common sense can be learned in, um, from experience and from teaching and from those that we trust, but the best source is the Word of God. And, um, uh, amen, I want to call your attention to a few verses uh, in Proverbs chapter 1, and I want to read this morning verses 20, and if you'll bear with me through 33, it says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse, and in the opening of the gates in the city, she utters her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you to my reproof, and behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have not set, but ye have sat at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity, and I will mark when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. The turning away of the simple shall slay them. The prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. This morning I want to talk uh, for a little while about wisdom's cry. Wisdom's cry. Father, bless now your word and your servant and prepare every heart to receive that which you would have us. And give us a listening ear, an anointing to teach. We need you. You are the preacher. We simply an instrument through which your power and blessings will flow and uh, come against every hindrance. Bless us and may the breath of the Almighty rest on us now. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated, all of you, in the presence of the Lord. Life is simply too big for us to handle by by ourselves. I want to say that again. Life is simply too big for us, any of us, to handle by ourselves. Uh, no matter how good the advice seems, if it's not consistent with the Word of God, then it can't really be trusted. Now in the Proverbs, wisdom is personified uh, in two ways, two ways of life. First, uh, wisdom is seen in the Proverbs as a beautiful woman, uh, calling those who follow her to come away to a place of victory and achievement and success. Wisdom 
calls us to success. God has our best interests in mind. Some, most of us desire success. Wisdom, again, is as a beautiful woman calling us to success. Amen. On the other hand, folly and foolishness is depicted uh, also as a, uh, a beautiful woman or at least attractive, but it's personified as an evil woman who attracts and allures and who uh, tempts us to step aside out of the right path, but the end of that foolish call is death. Amen. Uh, may I hasten? And would you notice verse 20 again if you have your Bibles or if they will uh, place that on the screen? Did you notice wisdom? It cries in verse 20. It says, Wisdom crieth without, or it cries uh, aloud in the streets. And her voice, he says, Wisdom crieth without, and uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom is depicted like there's this woman standing on the street corners or in the marketplace, raising her voice, crying out to the passerbys. This woman has no shame. She's not trying to protect an image or womanhood. In fact, she's bold. She's authoritative. She's crying, regardless of what those that are in the streets, whether they listen or not, whether they pay her attention or not, wisdom is crying. In verse 21, she cries in the chief places of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the, in the city. She utters her words, wisdom, raises her voices her voice in the marketplace she gets cries in those places that the travelers are or at the busy intersections if you will it's like wisdom goes down on the corner of 301 and 16 and cries to all who pass by wisdom crying under the trees at the convenience store across the street. Wisdom cries down at the wreck. Wisdom is crying in the sugar shack, in the slew. Wisdom has been crying in the hallways of Bradford County and Amen. P.K. Young has been crying. Wisdom has been crying. Yes, in the club, it's been crying. Wisdom has been shouting. Where the people are gathered. Wisdom is crying in the mall. It's shouting and raising a voice on Facebook. Wisdom is at the gates of Whispering Oaks. Wisdom is crying in the frat houses on the campus. Wisdom is wherever the people are, the busy thoroughfares, the highways. Wisdom is shouting, listen, listen, listen to my voice, listen to my instructions. Well, who is wisdom crying to? Three classes of people are identified in verse 22. He says, wisdom is crying to simple ones or simpletons who love simplicity. Wisdom is crying to mockers, or scorners, who love scorning. Wisdom is crying to fools who hate knowledge. Simpletons, 
markers and fools. Wisdom is crying. Somebody say, Pastor, who is the simpletons? This is a numerous class. It's a large class. This class of simpletons include the young, the old, the rich, the poor, of every ethnicity. The simpletons are in every neighborhood, every demographic. Uh, yeah, they, they, who are they? they? They're the ones that cannot be trusted with money. They can't hold money long because as soon as they get it, they will all, their money will always flee to the first shyster that come along. I'm talking about the simpletons. It's a large class of people. Uh, they, 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 they'll let the day pass by uh -huh, and, and make no provisions for the night. Uh, they, they, they don't move and make preparation for night until darkness comes. The simpletons. The simpletons are the ones that play during the summer and then are caught in the winter without clothes and home and food or money. New winter was coming. But played games all summer. Made no preparation for winter. They are the naive ones. They are the impressionable ones who just wander and play and game their way through life. Uh, they are open to all kinds of influences. You can trick them, fool them, sell them anything. The simpletons. Wisdom is saying how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And then wisdom is crying to the mockers, the mockers, the uh, King James says the scorners. Who are the scorners? Uh, it, it is those who uh, uh, treat wise counsel with contempt. You can tell them the truth, and they brush it off. Uh, there, there is nothing sacred to them. Uh, the markers, they, they don't take instruction serious. They laugh, they joke, they scoff. They, 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 they delight in scorning. They, it becomes second nature to them. In fact, in fact they, 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 uh, they, they do it to keep conviction away. They don't really want to um, um, reconcile with the truth or hear the truth or process the truth um, they smart off at the mouth their, their, their smart mouth is a wall of defense to keep truth from penetrating and, 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 and they don't want their conscience to change or their life to change so they mark uh, scorners are generally bold people who will keep truth at arm's length. And as soon as you bring them truth, they, 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 they scorn it, reject it, they use their boldness to uh, strike down truth before it expose their weakness. Markers, scorners. And then there's fools. Fools hate nothing. Fools are those who senselessly refuse instruction. They don't want to hear nobody. They don't want to hear the mama, daddy, pastor, police, teacher, husband, wife, grandma, nobody. Fools. It don't matter who knowledge is coming from. Uh, uh, fools refuse instruction. They, they, they are conceited. They are opinionated. They always know. Uh, got knowledge confused with wisdom. 
Remember, I say you can get knowledge in college, but uh, you, you, you can't get wisdom. You, you can have knowledge and still be a... Amen. Fools are conceited. They are highly opinionated. They, 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 they reject truth. You can't, hardly, you can't hardly get truth into a fool because their opinion is so strong that they won't listen because they know everything. Um, um, amen. Now, some truth the simple never think of. Uh, uh, some truth the scorners block out. But then truth, but, but, but the fools, even after the truth, make its way into their consciousness, they reject it with their heart. I know that, I understand that, I see that, but I don't receive that. Fools. You can tell them the truth all day long. And the thing about many fools, they're very smart. You really can't keep truth out of their mind because they're smart enough to understand it, but they hate it when they hear it because we rather love, we love our way better than God's way. And so to the simpletons and to the, to the uh, mockers and to the fools, wisdom is crying, crying, crying. How long? Look at what he said. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And your scorners, will you delight in your scorning? And markers delight in marking and fools hate long. How long are you gonna hate knowledge? How long are you gonna put it? How long are you gonna do what you want to do your way? How long are you gonna have it your own way? And so then wisdom gives an invitation. He says, Turn you to my reproof. Turn, turn, repent, and give heed to my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you, and I will make known my ways unto you, my words unto you. It doesn't matter how long you've rejected truth and been rebellious and refused the things of God. Wisdom called it. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling, saying, turn, repent. Quit trying to do it your way. Listen and understand that God has a way. And then he says, I'll give you wisdom. Wisdom will be a blessing in your life. It'll bring you life and peace and security and wealth. That's what our opening passage says. Riches and honor and prosperity, success comes with wisdom. But you got to turn and you got to open your mind. And you got to say, you know what, I can't do it my way, but I got to hear the call and the cry of wisdom. The cry of wisdom. Now, one of the greatest tragedies of life is the gross rejection of wisdom's cry. That's, it's one thing to reject, um, um, you know, a class or, 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 or an offer from someone else, but when wisdom is crying, wisdom is crying, and wisdom is crying, he's been crying, he's been crying in our streets and in our homes, it's, it's, it's sad to reject that cry. He says in verse 24, he says, I called because I called and you refuse. I call forth and you refuse. I, I, I would, but you wouldn't. I stretched out my hand, but you didn't regard it or heed it. I reached out to you. I tried to show you the way, and you wouldn't listen. Because I have called, and you refused, and I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. This is wisdom talking. But you have said it not my counsel. I counsel you, I advise you, but you wouldn't listen. 
You wouldn't do what I tell you. And would none of my reproof. I tried to discipline and instruct you. But you didn't have nothing to do with it. You wouldn't submit to it. Thank you, Jesus. What makes a man so stubborn that he would even resist the commandments and the warnings of God that are for his own good? I read a story, a true story. I heard of a small child who squeezed past the rails, slid through the rails at the Washington Zoo. And then once, and slid into the cage of a lion. And her grandfather called out to her and cried to her and said, come back. And she playfully backed away from his call. And a lion went out and grabbed her, drug her into his cage, and mauled her to death. True story. The call of that grandfather was to save her life. It was, to, it was for her good. But from her perspective, she refused that call and she refused that. And how often, how often, wisdom is crying, wisdom is crying, saying, come to me, turn to me, listen to me, follow my way. Don't try to live your life with your own understanding. Don't try to get, navigate your own way through life. Listen to my call. I have a plan. I have a purpose. Do it my way. Listen to my instructions. And it's for our good. When we insistently, persistently refuse and reject the call of God, we put ourselves in a place Then when we do that, when you've laughed, and when we've played, and we've had our time, and we haven't listened to wisdom, then wisdom said, okay, now it's my time to laugh. It's my time now. But then it says, he says in verse 26, he says, then, no, no, he, says, he says, I also will laugh at your calamity. And I will mark, I will mock when your fear cometh. And now is that suggesting that God's going to laugh at us when we get in trouble? Do we have the kind of God that would glory? I'm talking about, a, I mean, it's a little, a little ridiculous to think that, 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 that God would rejoice over our calamity. But what wisdom is saying that uh, you, you, you got to understand that it is poetic justice. It's that when, when, uh, yes, we refuse and refuse, the, the harvest of our folly is a day of destruction. And, 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 and the, the, the writer said, the wisdom's going to have the last word. You're not going to have the last laugh. Wisdom. It's going to always have the last laugh. Not that it's funny. And you listen, when, listen, what, what, what is he saying? Basically, he's saying, okay, payday is coming. Payday is coming. Verse 27, when your fear cometh and your destruction cometh, as a whirlwind, and say, if it comes, Wisdom say, if you don't, if you refuse my call, if you, if you continue in your simplicity, continue in your way. He says, if you refuse my call, payday is coming. The judgment will come like a storm. And the, and the calamity will roar down like a tornado. And distress and anger and despair will seize you in a moment. 
fear cometh as desolations and your destruction cometh like a whirlwind. And when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall you call upon me. Look, wisdom said, there's a day where I'm going to have the last laugh and you can actually get to the point of no return. Wisdom say, you can get out there and stay out there and play out there and reject and reject and refuse so long till you get to a point of no return. Then shall they call after the storm has come, after anguish has come, after destruction has come, after the whirlwind of life has wrapped you up. He said, then you will call Upon me, wisdom is talking, but I will not answer. And they will seek me early. They'll come running. They'll come looking for answers. They're trying to find me now. Trying to find, trying to figure out life. You say you won't be able to find because it will not answer. But they shall not find me. You won't find wisdom. They that hate knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord and would not come to my counsel and they despise all my reproof and therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and shall be filled with their own devices. Thank you, Jesus. We can't come when we want to. We have to come when he calls us. 2 Corinthians 6.2 says, I have heard thee in a accept time acceptable. In a day of salvation have I secured thee or helped thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now is the day of salvation. How long? How long? Again, verse 31 said, Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and shall be filled with their own devices. And, and uh, for the turning away of the simple uh, shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Listen to me carefully. If you missed everything that I said, hear this. Listen, every man is free to make their own choices in life but he is not free to choose the consequences of those choices if you don't hear anything else that pastor said this morning remember this every one of us in this room are free to make our own choices in life but you're not free to choose the consequences of those choices because if we reject and choose our own way and refuse wisdom, wisdom say, you will, for turning away of the simple, shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Oh, amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I, as I close this morning, I want to say wisdom is crying. Wisdom is crying. Wisdom is crying. And he's, he's lifting his voice. And as, as the time get evil and the days get closer, wisdom is shouting the more. Wisdom is crying. Wisdom is crying saying reverence God. Wisdom is crying saying put him first in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Wisdom is crying to, to those who will hear in the streets, in the churches, in the hallways, in the, in the marketplaces. He says, put away your secret sins. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen. Wisdom is crying, saying, stop shacking. Stop it. Stop it. Wisdom says, stop shacking. Um, wisdom is saying, Wisdom is saying, get rid of those bad habits. Wisdom is saying, quit visiting those websites that you shouldn't be on. Wisdom. 
Wisdom is crying. Wisdom is talking. Wisdom, wisdom is saying, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you, Jesus. Wisdom is crying, saying, stop flirting with sin. Wisdom is saying, break relationships and allegiances and that have gotten out of line. Break it. Don't, don't negotiate it. Don't try to slide out, slip out, break out. Break out, break out, run. You cannot negotiate with sin. You can't ne negotiate with the enemy. Sometimes we get ourselves and we know when a situation, our relationship has gotten out of bound. We know where maybe nothing has happened, but you feel in the Holy Spirit is saying, run. Wisdom say, run. Wisdom. Say, run. Thank you, Jesus. Wisdom say, stop, stop worshiping God and robbing him. Stop. Amen. Wisdom say, wisdom is crying, saying, stop tearing down your house. Stop. Stop putting all your business on Facebook. And get your face in the book. Wisdom. Wisdom say, stop being simple. Stop putting all of that stuff in the air. Stop it. Stop allowing other people to identify you. Stop allowing. Wisdom say, quit letting other people divine, define who you are and determine your values and your self-worth. Wisdom say, quit trying to please people. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Know who you are in God. Know that God has a purpose for your life. Do I have a witness? Wisdom says, wisdom say, now you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Wisdom say, your body belong to the Lord. Do I have a witness? Wisdom say, possess your vessel as a vessel of honor. Wisdom say, when prayer has been made over you and your life has been set aside and marked out for God, you can't survive and get away with what everyone else get away with. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom say, come and find yourself in the house of the Lord. Wisdom said, there's a privilege and a benefit in serving God. And understanding that he has a purpose, plan, and a ministry for every life. Oh my God, my mind, hallelujah. My prayer is that all, all four of these graduates, but not only them, but everyone in this house will understand that there is a purpose, a ministry, a place, and a plan that God has for your life. And anything short of that is to sell yourself short of his purpose and the fulfillment and the blessings, the joy, the peace, the fulfillment that God has intended for your life cannot and will not be found anywhere else other than God. God. Wisdom say, run to me. Listen to my instructions. I'll teach you how to have whole relationships. He says, I'll teach you how to be successful. I'll teach you how to prosper. I'll teach you, oh my God, how to dream, how to fulfill those dreams, how to handle it when you get it. I'll teach you how to keep from being victimized. Oh my God. My God, wisdom said there's a roaring lion. He's roaming, seeking who he may devour. But I want to protect and cover and preserve your life. But you got to search. You got to seek it. You got to want it. You got to desire it. You got to ask for it. James said if any man lack wisdom, 
let him ask God. And he'll give it to you liberally. But you got to understand it's wisdom I need because wisdom is the principal thing. My God, if I have all of the degrees and all of the titles and make all the money and don't have wisdom, then I've still missed God. And my life is still vulnerable and subject and I can fall prey to the enemy. Now here is what I'm decreeing, declaring in our church. School is out. We are... Uh, Not officially, but approaching the summer. And, I, and I, I heard in my spirit, I heard it last week and I heard it again, and I wanted to make sure I, before I say that, and I said it this morning. I want to call forth in this church. I know many of us are reading the scriptures and we have a daily reading plan. But whether you've been on board with that or not, I want everyone under the sound of my voice to do something with me this summer. The rest of this month of June, July, and August. And that is every day that we will go on a pursuit for wisdom. Because I want to understand how to have healthy relationships. I want to understand how to really be successful. I want to understand how to build my house. I want to understand how to have a good marriage. I want to understand how to have whole relationships. I want to understand how to, how, how, to, how to navigate through conflict. I want to understand how to diffuse tension and not escalate stuff. But, 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 but I done messed up too much stuff, so I need wisdom. And I don't just need uh, cliches and, and old wise fables. I don't just need grandma's. I, I, I love grandma now. I mean, I love grandma. But I, I don't just need all grandma's little sayings. I need wisdom. Because everything grandma say wasn't from God. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. Everything, uh, I, now I, had, I had two godly grandmamas, but uh, amen. Uh, one of my grandmamas get a parasol at you. Amen. <laughs> Y'all don't even know what a parasol is. Amen. That's an old term for an umbrella. <laughs> but here's what I want to call for. I want to call forth with these, these graduates. I want to call forth for everyone in the house a proverb of day. There's 31 proverbs. And today is the 8th. And I want to start in Proverbs 8 and read a proverb of day and just make a note of a word or two of wisdom that the Lord is saying to you every day. Tomorrow, read Proverbs 9. It won't take you long to do that. What is God saying to me tomorrow in Proverbs 9? Then the next day, Proverbs 10. And we'll go through the end of the month. And when we get to July 1st, if the Lord allows us to see July, we'll go back to chapter 1. And we'll go verse chapter 1, chapter 2, a proverb a day. Is there anybody? No, I don't want to ask. I want to just ask. I want to put that on you as a church. I want to say whether even, even to our friends and our visitors and members, if you'll join us in this pursuit of wisdom, if you will hear these instructions, God will do something transformative in your life that even as those of you that are transitioning about to go to college, go get that knowledge. But we got to seek for wisdom. Are you listening? And then I got some good news. I got some awesome news. This last verse says this. But whoso, somebody say whoso. Whoso include all us, whether we've been seeking wisdom or not, whatever class we're in, whatever age we are, whatever category we're in, we are in the whoso. <laughs> oh, somebody touch somebody and say, you in the whoso. Whoso. Did I 
read that right? But whoso, glory to God. You ought to shake somebody and say, hello, whoso. <laughs> boy, that's, boy, isn't that messed up English, amen? You in the whoso. Glory to God. See, 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 see. Whoso includes the fools, the mockers, and the simpletons. Whoso includes the rich, the poor, the married, the unmarried. The whoso includes the young and the old and the ones that been in Sunday school and the ones that ain't been in Sunday school. The whoso include all of us. Come on, somebody don't touch somebody again and say, hello, whoso. Hello, whoso. Got some good news for you, whoso. <laughs> Got some good news, whoso. It said, who's, but whoso. Hearken, listen unto me, shall dwell safely. I don't care how many mistakes you done made in the past. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody say you can get to the point of no return. I'm saying if you're in this service and God sent you here to hear this message, you're not at that point of no return. I'm declaring that if you are under the sound of my voice, you are in the whoso. And if you will hearken, If you will hearken to the voice of the Lord, it matters not how many mistakes you've made in your path. If you will hearken to wisdom and seek it out and search it out, God said, I will cause you to dwell in safety. I'll bless your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll make you the head and not the tail. I'll cause you to be successful. Somebody ought to stand up and give him praise. I got to get out of here. Give him a praise, somebody. But whoso, come on, I'm done. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely. Hallelujah. And shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Oh, hallelujah. I'm glad God's not with me. Aren't you glad? Come on, in. come on, give him a praise all over this place. Ah, oh, my God. Whosoever hearken, whoso, whoso listen, whoso listens, whoso hears. God says, I will cause my blessings to be upon your life. I'm glad, I'm glad our sons and daughters are still in that whoso. <laughs> yes, they are. Beautiful ladies handsome young man life in front of you glory to God you're in a good place today pastor didn't put you on the front seat to pick on you just want to talk to you make sure I, I could just look at you every now and then because I just want you to know you in that whoso because God's got some awesome things in your future God got an awesome path planned for your life yes he do now, the devil don't like you. You're a beautiful young lady and the devil don't like you. But God got a plan for you. Amen, somebody. You're in that whoso, that, 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 that God and, 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 and yeah, what, 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 your, what your, I ain't going to mess, mess with you. Pretty eyes. Amen. Amen. Pretty eyes will get attention. But you got to make sure you're in that whoso who hearkens because God got a bigger plan, bigger than you ever seen. Amen. 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 Mr. Athlete. Mr. Man. Amen. I feel you, boy. Amen. <laughs> all right. All right, buddy. All right. All right. All right. But I speak life and wisdom over your life pray a covering in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus it don't matter you know what team what place and 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 see you you you, you get in a place where you you'll have challenges and 
you'll be having to make so many decisions. And mama ain't going to be there to guide those decisions. And glory to God. But, but, but if you'll take, if you'll let wisdom, wisdom guide your life. God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's pray for our young people right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cover them now. I bless them now. I speak life and blessings and prosperity over them in the name of Jesus. 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 Lord, may they hear wisdom's call. Wisdom's voice. Wisdom's instruction. In the name of Jesus. And now with every head yet bowed, there's somebody in this room. The truth be told that we, we've refused wisdom's call. We've ignored. And then sometime after a message like this, it's kind of hard because we, we don't want people to think, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, this is not a time to be worrying about what, what, what you know, classes right now. The, the, the truth is, is all of us are in that class where we, we, we need the wisdom of God, the instructions and the blessings of God. And, and if, I've, if I've refused the Lord or not heard his voice or been obedient to his voice, and I hear the call of God on my life, and I want to surrender, I want to say yes and hearken, even if there have been times when I rebelled and refused and, and, and neglected the counsel, I'm, I heard the word pastor today, and I'm saying yes to the call of wisdom, yes to the voice of God, Yes to his plan and direction for my life. If that's you, just slip that hand up wherever you are, all over this room. Slip up those hands. Slip up those hands and say, I hear wisdom's call. I hear wisdom's call. Whatever area in your life, maybe you're already saved. You're already saved. But you hear wisdom calling you. You hear wisdom calling you. Without hesitation, I want you to just start walking right now. And come, 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 come. Come on, elders, join me now. Come on, you hear wisdom's call for whatever reason. You might be saved. You might, you might be, hallelujah, but, but, but you hear wisdom calling you. I hear wisdom calling me. Glory, 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 glory. I hear wisdom calling. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you, my past is over in you, things are made new, I'm giving my life to Christ, I'm moving, moving forward, oh, oh, oh.
we hear the, have heard the call of wisdom and wisdom is calling because thank you Jesus thank you Jesus wisdom can be found the grace of God is yet available the Lord says uh, I've set my hand upon you my love upon you I call you thank you Jesus I've called you you are my beloved I've kept you by the power of God and even if the enemy would have if he had you know, if the enemy could have he would have had his way but the Lord says I kept you in order that I might bless you that my grace and my peace and my favor can be upon your life and by the mere fact that you're standing here, I want you to know that the blessings of the Lord is over your life. Search for wisdom. And now I'm going to, I want to just pray over you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these, your precious people. Thank you for how you have blessed us and kept us. And we've heard your word. Thank you for those who have opened their hearts and responded to your call. As we stand, we ask your forgiveness. We know that if we cover our sin, we shall not prosper. But if we forsake it, we confess it and forsake it. You have promised that you're faithful and just to forgive us. And Lord, we hear your call. We hear your cry. And our answer is yes. Thank you for your long suffering and your patience and, and for everyone that has come for whatever reason they have come and even for those there's some that are yet at their seats who have been your word has spoken to they've been convicted in a way some way whatever that area is whatever that whatever that thing that wisdom is crying unto us Today our answer is yes, yes and amen. We hear your voice, we'll heed your call. In the name of Jesus, we praise and bless your name. I thank you because you didn't give up on us. Thank you because you've been long suffering. Thank you because you continue to call us. I answer and I respond is yes and amen. Our determination is to do your will to please you, to love you, to serve you, to be all that you have called us to be. Today we renounce anything that is not of you. And we declare that the words of our mouth, not only the words of our mouth, but the meditations of our heart, will be acceptable in your, in your sight, for you are our strength and our redeemer. Bless us and strengthen us now. I pray for every man, every woman, everyone that is here now, declare that in the name of Jesus we have the victory I thank you oh God because your blessings is upon us thank you because peace and security uh, has engulfed us now and because of our response and our obedience oh God we thank you lift our hands and our heads and declare that in the name of Jesus we have the victory in Jesus name we thank you now Thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise and bless his name. Come on, praise and bless his name. Bless his name. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. 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 Come on, why don't you just encourage somebody right now? Hallelujah.
Well, come on, bless the Lord, somebody. Amen. Anybody encourage? Amen. Give him a praise and give him glory. Amen. I am so delighted to see all of you in the house of the Lord. And again, uh, our friends and our visitors, those of you that have joined us in this service. Amen. Maybe we have some that is not a member of this church and this is a place that you believe that God wants you to be and you desire to be a member here. If so, would you stand where you are? If you're not a member, you say, Pastor, I need a church home and this is where I believe the Lord will have me. Are there any? Amen. If not, I want to say to all of you, we're so delighted that you have chosen this as your place of worship and hope that you have sensed God's presence and we thank God for each of you. We're going to be leaving together shortly. Uh, I want to just make, um, I'm going to ask the uh, ushers and uh, our deacons to be prepared now to receive our offering. Now on yesterday, our youth had a, um, had a uh, car wash uh, fundraiser and uh, I understand there was about five fundraisers on 301 kind of, so they didn't have quite the results that they had hoped for. So Maybe you didn't get your car washed, and they have a, a, a trip uh, plan that uh, we want to be able to help support them on that. And so, if you will, uh, get an uh, envelope and write on their special offering and, 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 and designate it for the youth department. We're going to give our tithes. We're going to give our offering, but I, you know, I want to just give a little extra for the youth department to help them. If you can, if you will, if you're in led or inclined to do so, I'm sure they will appreciate that to help and support their endeavor. Um, at this time, we first want to receive those uh, the tithe. Amen. Those of you who are tithing, if you've prepared that, if you'll just lift it up, if, my, if you don't mind even standing up, amen, and let's honor the Lord with our tithe this morning. Amen. Amen. Come on, pray with me. Father, thank you for bringing increase into our lives. All that we have belong to you as an act of worship and obedience to your word. We bring to you first tenth of our increase, standing on your promises that you'll open the windows of heaven and pour us out blessings, blessings in every area of our lives. We receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have an offering of any size, get that offering in your hand. We're going to pray God's blessings over it. Again, if you're going to give a designated offering um, uh, to the youth, the, whatever it is, it's a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever, um, if you write on it, special offering to the youth, um, uh, amen, amen, amen. I, you say 145? Well, listen, I, listen, I, I gave you 35. <laughs> Pastor Shell tried to he said there was $145 short of uh, where he wanted to be and asked me to give it yesterday. I gave you 35 of it. <laughs> Y'all figure out a way to get the other 110. Amen. I don't gave 35 to the youth department for that purpose. But we can get more than 110. I believe the Lord will lay on somebody's heart to give an offering so the youth can get this what they need. Amen. And we're going to help them get it done. Amen. Amen. And, and, and anything you're short, I'll put in. Okay. Amen. But well, we're going to get it today, and we're going to go over it. Amen. That's why I could talk like that. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray over every offering. It may leave our hand, but it will never leave our life. Give back to us good measure. Cause it to run over. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I'm going to ask the deacons and ushers, if you all will pass the basket, make sure if you're giving a designated offering, raise your hand to the to the to the ushers, get an envelope, put it in it so we can separate it and make sure we give it to the youth department if you are giving a special offering to them. Thank you. Then we'll get our announcements and we'll leave. Thank you.
this summer. Let's not just do the same thing we've always done. But let's do something new, exciting, and life-changing. Forget the crafts and boring lessons. Let's get in the game. Mega Sports Camp gives the kids in your church an outreach they will actually want to bring their friends to. And give the kids in your community a reason to check out your church. This isn't just a community rec camp, but Mega Sports Camp shows how faith and athletics work together. Take the challenge. Get your church in the game at megasportscamp.com. Amen. Thank God for all of you. We're grateful everyone standing in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I want to encourage you, if you've not already confirmed your participation in Vacation Bible School, we really need volunteers. Please do that today. Do it today. Do it today. So uh, those who are coordinating, and uh, we will know how we can count. We want it to be impactful. Amen. And God bless you as our prayer. And first impressions, ushers, greeters, parking. Those that are already on board and those who have a desire, uh, training immediately after service uh, shortly. Uh, amen. We exp uh, let's continue to pray one for the other, that God will continue to bless us. We're closing now. Father, we thank you for this service. We thank you for uh, your graciousness, the, your word, the visitation of your spirit and all that has been done. I pray, Lord, that as we leave now, that we will go forth lifting holy hands. Give us travel mercies, uh, safe return. Bring us back together if it be your will. We bless you. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Remember, we already had chapter 8 read to us, but before the day is over, read chapter 8 again, and tomorrow chapter 9, and I want you to shake whoso hand. Amen. Uh, amen. Thank you.